Shofatim, Judges 18. In those days, there was no king in Yashara'el. And in those days, the tribe of the Danim sought them an inheritance to dwell in. For unto that day, all their inheritance had not fallen unto them among the tribes of Yashara'el. And the children of Dan sent of their family five men from their coasts, men of valor, from Sorah and from Ashtaol, to spy out Eth the land, and to search it. And they said unto them, Go, search Eth the land, who when they came to Mount Ephraim, to the house of Micah, they lodged there. When they were by the house of Micah, they knew Eth the voice of the young man, the Levi. And they turned in thither, and said unto him, Who brought you hither? And what make you in this place? And what have you here? And he said unto them, Thus and thus deals Micah with me, and has hired me, and I am his priest. And they said unto him, Ask counsel, we pray you, of Elohim, that we may know whether our way which we go shall be prosperous. And the priest said unto them, Go in peace. Before Yahuwah is your way wherein ye go. Then the five men departed and came to Laish and saw Eth the people that were therein, how they dwelt careless after the manner of the Sidonim, quiet and secure. And there was no magistrate in the land that might put them to shame in anything. And they were far from the Sidonim and had no business with any man. And they came unto their brethren to Sorah and Eshtaol, and their brethren said unto them, What say ye? And they said, Arise, that we may go up against them, for we have seen at the land, and behold, it is very good. And are ye still? Be not slothful to go, and to enter to possess at the land. When ye go, ye shall come unto a people secure, and to a large land, for Elohim has given it into your hands, a place where there is no want of anything that is in the earth. And there went from thence of the family of the Danim, out of Sorah and out of Eshtaol, six hundred men appointed with weapons of war. And they went up and pitched in Kiryat Yi Arim in Yahuda. Wherefore they called that place Machane Dan unto this day. Behold, it is behind Kiryat Yi Arim. And they passed thence unto Mount Ephraim, and came unto the house of Micah. Then answered the five men that went to spy out Eth, the country of Laish, and said unto their brethren, Do ye know that there is in these houses an ephod, and teraphim, and a graven image, and a molten image? Now therefore consider what ye have to do. And they turned thitherward, and came to the house of the young man, the Levi, even unto the house of Micah, and saluted him. And the six hundred men appointed with their weapons of war, which were of the children of Dan, stood by the entering of the gate. And the five men that went to spy out Eth the land went up, and came in thither and took Eth the graven image, and Eth the ephod, and Eth the teraphim, and Eth the molten image. And the priest stood in the entering of the gate with the six hundred men that were appointed with weapons of war. And these went into Micah's house and fetched Eth the carved image, the ephod, and eth the teraphim, and eth the molten image. Then said the priest unto them, What do ye? 
And they said unto him, Hold your peace, lay your hand upon your mouth, and go with us, and be to us a father and a priest. Is it better for you to be a priest unto the house of one man, or that you be a priest unto a tribe and a family in Yashedael? And the priest's heart was glad, and he took Eth the ephod, and Eth the teraphim, and Eth the graven image, and went in the midst of the people. So they turned and departed, and put Eth the little ones, and Eth the cattle, and Eth the carriage before them. And when they were a good way from the house of Mekah, the men that were in the houses near to Mekah's house were gathered gathered together, and overtook Eth the children of Dan. They cried unto the children of Dan, and they turned their faces, and said unto Mekah, What ails you that you come with such a company? And he said, Ye have taken away Eth my Elohim, which I made, and Eth the priest, and ye are gone away. And what have I more? And what is this that ye say unto me, What ails you? And the children of Dan said unto him, Let not your voice be heard among us, lest angry fellows run upon you, and you lose your life with the lives of your household. And the children of Dan went their way. And when Mekah saw that they were too strong for him, he turned and went back unto his house. And they took Eth the things which Mekah had made, and Eth the priest which he had, and came unto Laish, unto a people that were at quiet and secure. And they smote them with the edge of the sword, and burnt Eth the city with fire. And there was no deliverer, because it was far from Sidon. And they had no business with any man, and it was in the valley that lies by Beat Rechav. And they built Eth a city, and dwelt therein. And they called the name of the city Dan, after the name of Dan their father, who was born unto Yashadael. Howbeit, the name of the city was Laish at the first. And the children of Dan set up Eth the graven image, and Yahu Nathan, the son of Gershom, the son of Manasseh, he and his sons were priests to the tribe of Dan until the day of the captivity of the land. And they set them up at Mekah's graven image, which he made all the time that the house of Elohim was in Shiloh.